Welcome back to RC Island Girl Jamaican Vlogs. This is episode 17 of the Developments in Montego Bay series. If you like this type of content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Number one, Harbor City Shopping Center is now covered with this green fabric that kind of piqued my interest. So I had to do some research to see what it was. Apparently, it is used for the purposes of protection. It decreases the likelihood of dust from the construction entering other areas on the construction site. It also prevents debris falling on people standing or walking below. It prevents people from seeing the construction process until the final design is completed and ready to be shown to the public. It prevents wind from blowing directly on the workers and on the concrete. It also blocks direct sunlight. In addition, if any worker is afraid of heights, it helps to break the vision so that they can work without fear. If you know any other reasons for this green construction fabric, then please share that below. Number two. As previously discussed, the UDC is presently working on rehabilitating grounds on Montego Bay's coastline. Work started in November of 2021 and as you can see, it's still going on. This is Walter Fletcher Beach, one of the sites where the construction is taking place. These boulders are going to be used in the construction of the groins. And over at the old hospital beach, otherwise called One Man Beach, you can actually see the work taking place. Now, what are groins? I had to do some research for this as well and here is what I found. Groins are used to protect the shoreline and reduce coastal erosion. They are constructed at a right angle to the shoreline and are designed to trap sediments and reduce what's referred to as longshore drift. There are usually more than one in the area working together to offer sufficient protection. Now, usually large rocks are used in the construction. However, it can also be made of concrete, steel, wood, bags filled with sand or rubble mound. However, groins made of large boulders are usually preferred as they last longer and are better able to withstand strong waves. While groins are highly beneficial, like anything else they have some drawbacks such as changing the sedimentation pattern of other areas close by and of course there are other drawbacks and I will just share a link to an article that gives you more information about groins if you want to read it. Number three, both papaya locations are now open and people are flocking to them. The lines are very long. So that's the brief update I have for the Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen and Burger King. They open. Burger King open. Hello. I will not. No, 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 no. Line long like me in the office. 
number four the old hospital park is closed but here is a video that i did some time ago i also included some information on the history of the park so you can have a look at that if you're interested The St. James Hospital, built on the site of the earlier facility, the St. James General Marine Hospital, was opened in November 28, 1929. The hospital at the time was considered a state-of-the-art medical facility and was open to the public. It featured private wards and spacious living accommodation for doctors and nurses. Sir Reginald Edward Stubbs, while serving as Governor of Jamaica from 1926 to 1932, initiated the construction of the hospital, which received contributions from many prominent businessmen in St. James. The hospital comprised of 64 beds, all enjoying a view of the sea and the tropical breeze. In 1972, a new and much larger hospital, the Cornwall Regional Hospital, was constructed in the hills overlooking Montego Bay. This was later opened in 1974. The St. James Hospital was subsequently closed and later demolished. This park now occupies a site on which the hospital once stood.